I think it's going to be a big test to this community to really take the corporate commitment to being better corporate citizens in the world and test it. So hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Intelligent Enterprise Institute series, interview series here at, at Davos during the World Economic Forum. And here today we have Claire Kesey with us. So hi Claire. Hi. So Claire, could you please describe your role at the Economist Impact for our audience? Yeah, absolutely. I am the Global Head of Policy and Insights, and what we do is produce original independent research and analysis on some of the biggest issues in the world today. And really our goal is to raise awareness, raise understanding of these issues, and hopefully enable decision makers to make evidence-based decisions um, and build a better world. Well, that sounds interesting. So could you also please let us know what is your main mission here at Davos from this week? Yeah, honestly, inspiration. I think the thing that's been missing for me in the last couple of years is the exchange of ideas. What we get when we connect with other people, when we challenge each other, um, and we exchange ideas and insights about the world and how we're seeing it. Um, and that's where I think innovation comes from. It's where our best ideas come from. It's where our solutions come from. So to be here um, with leaders, corporate leaders, business leaders, leaders from government, NGOs from around the world, talking about these big issues that are, we're confronting, it's very exciting, um, the exchange of ideas and hopefully arriving at some innovative solutions. Yeah, the ideas that are coming from very different backgrounds. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Well, our mission as the Intelligent Enterprise Institute is also actually create some awareness about the intelligent choices that we actually make in, in our daily lives, uh, starting maybe from a personal commitment, but also enabling some collective action to make all of our lives more sustainable, with also with the, with the right insights as well. So can you maybe share with us what are some practical commitments from your side as an individual or as a, as a business leader to make the life more sustainable for all of us? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think on a personal level and also as we as we do our jobs, so as a as a as a leader of a team, I think thinking about what's driving a decision and what evidence is informing a decision and trying to be very conscious of the implications of the choices we make, um, the potential unintended consequences of what seems like a smart choice. Um, so really seeking evidence, seeking analysis. Um, and trying to make des decisions that not only have the effect we're intending, but also don't create unintended consequences, which I think a lot of the ideas we have that seem good often create something that we didn't, we didn't actually expect to happen in the world. Um, and so really looking for, for that analysis and understanding to inform smart decision making, I think that's what we can all do. Yeah, it all it all based on data and insight. All based and on data, and we live in a world of data. We are <laughs> yeah. we are we are more empowered than any generation in, in exactly. history. So, is there any final key message that you would like to share with the audience today from from Davos? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think we're in a really pivotal moment in history. We're going into it, I think, will be a much more challenging period economically. And I think it's going to be a big test to this community to really take the corporate commitment to being better corporate citizens in the world and test it. And we're going to have to be much more creative about how we bring together sustainability, inclusion, and, and growth and prosperity. Um, and so I think for me, that, that's what I'm hoping we all, we all come away from here with is a renewed commitment to that and also some fresh ideas to how to make it happen. Yeah, and also to take this to the next action, right? Yes. To, to realize these ideas. Absolutely. Well, Claire, thank you very much for joining us today here. And yeah, hope thank to you see for having you next me. time. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.